Hi. In this video we will show you the step-by-step -step process of configuring point to site VPN using Azure Portal. Open the Azure Portal and click on the Resource Group link. Click on Add button to create a new resource group. Provide resource group name and its location. Click on Create button. The new resource group is available in the list. Click on Virtual Networks link to create a new virtual network. Then click on Add button. Provide the required information for corresponding fields to create virtual network. We use 10.0.0.0 flash 16 network for this demo. Make sure you have selected the correct resource group and then click the Create button. Virtual network was created successfully. Click on Virtual network and select Subnets option. Click on the Gateway Subnet option. We use 10.0.1.0 flash 24 network for the Gateway Subnet. Click OK to create a new one. For more information about subnets and gateway subnets, please check the video description box. Open the Virtual Network Gateway service and click on Add button. Provide a name for this virtual network gateway and select the gateway type as VPN. Then select the VPN type as root based and SKU as VPN GW1. Choose the PSBNET under Virtual Network section. Create a new public IP or select the existing one for this virtual network gateway. Select the resource group location and click on the Create button. It will take 30 to 35 minutes to complete the operation. In meanwhile, we will install the Windows SDK package in the VM. Open the web browser and access the Microsoft URL to download the SDK executable. The download links are available in our blog page. Please check the video description box. Double click on the executable file to open the installation wizard. Select the Install the Windows Software Development Kit to this computer option and click Next. We select all the features for our environment. Click Install to start the installation process. It will take several minutes to complete the operation. Installation completed successfully. Also our new virtual network gateway was created successfully. We are using the madecert.exe to create a self-signed certificate for this VPN. Open the command prompt and go to madecert.exe file home directory. Set the environment variable to this folder using setpath command. environment variable was added successfully. Create a new folder named SIR in the C drive. Go to search folder and execute the madecert.exe command to generate a self-signed root certificate for this VPN. The root certificate will be available in the SIR folder. Also, the root certificate will be installed on the server. You can check it in the Certificate Manager snap in under Personal Folder. Now export the VPN root certificate in Base64 format. Right click on the certificate and select All Tasks and select Export. Do not export the private key and select the Base64 option. Save the certificate in the C Drive Cert folder. The certificate exported successfully.
Open the command prompt and execute the madecert.exe command to create a client certificate using the root certificate which we created earlier. Client certificate is created successfully. You can verify it from the certificate manager snap in. We need to share this certificate with our users along with the VPN client software to access this network from their end. To do that, right click on the client certificate and select all tasks and export. Select export with the private key and make sure that include all certificates in the certification path if possible is enabled. Provide a password for this certificate and save the certificate on C drive cert folder. The certificate will be saved in PFX format. Certificate exported successfully. To create the point to site VPN, need to specify a root certificate in a single line in the Azure portal. So we need to squeeze them into one line using the TextPad application. So we download and install the application in this VM. Download links are available in our blog. Please check the video description box. Open the Azure VPN root cert base 64 file in TextPad application. Now the certificate modified into a single line. Now we can use for VPN configuration. Open the Azure portal and click on our VPN gateway and select point to site configuration option. Click on configure now option. Provide an address pool for this VPN. We use the reserved address space 172.20.20.0 slash 24 for this demo. Make sure that this IP range was opened in your environment. Leave the default tunneling types are checked. Select the authentication type as Azure Certificate and copy paste the squeezed root certificate into the root certificates section. Click on save button to save the changes. After few minutes download VPN client option will be available to download the VPN client software. Download and save the file on the desktop. Now provide the VPN client along with client certificate to the users to access this network from their end. For demo purpose. We are using same VM as a client. First install the PFX certificate on the client machine. Make sure you have selected the current user option and provide the right password of the certificate while installing the certificate. Certificate installed successfully. Install the VPN client in your machine based on the OS architecture. We are using 64-bit Windows 2016 server for this demo. So, open the Windows AMD64 folder and double-click on the AMD64 executable file. The new connection will be available on the Network Connection tab. Right-click on the Azure VPN and click Connect. A new screen will show up to update the routing table. Click continue after few seconds. The connection will establish with Azure network successfully. Now we can able to access the Azure VM using local IP.
you can verify the VPN IP details through command prompt. Thanks for watching this video.